Hello and welcome to another review for Xbox One Reviews. I'm Daniel Waite and this is brought to you in association with Andrew Edney's MoviesGamesAndTech.com. Thanks to Andrew for allowing me to make content for his page and thanks to the publishers and developers for the code. Today's review is Drizzlepath Deja Vu which is available to buy for around £5 on multiple platforms. So let's wait no longer and see what it's all about. Video games span multiple genres and comprise a magnitude of themes and styles. They offer something for everyone and what might be right for you won't be attractive to someone else. Whatever your go-to genre is, there is always room for a relaxed and chilled out game. Drizzle Path Deja Vu walks you through some stunning locations while giving you the time to think. Developed by Tonguk Boda and published by East Asia Soft Limited, this is a walking simulator title. It's the second Boda game that I've covered recently and one I was thoroughly looking forward to. Drizzle Path Deja Vu is a re-envisioning of his first endeavour and a welcome sight on console. As with most walking simulator titles, you only get out what you put in. Drizzle Path Deja Vu allows you to lose yourself in its surreal world full of overbearing images. The game can be as short and simple or as long and complex as you wish. You'll span an array of landscapes, witness some weird sights and listen to some intoxicating narration. Subsequently, hours of your life will be lost to this developer's emotion-laced creation. You control a man who takes a journey to discover the meaning of his existence. His story starts in a pool at the base of a mountain. You swim with fishes, observe a floating octopus and pass a ghostly image. You may think this odd, but this is merely the tip of a surreal and bizarre iceberg. Unlike Lucid Cycle, Boda's recently released walking simulator, Drizzle Path Deja Vu isn't as dreamy. However, the experience takes in an unusual imagery and has many overbearing moments. Though there is a loose plot to follow, Drizzle Path Deja Vu leaves much open to interpretation. This was a wonderful decision as it allowed you to move through each defining moment. I adored how the nuggets of narration punctuated the surreal landscape. With no guidance on what path to take, it was easy to become disorientated. However, you were never too far from the correct route and progress flowed nicely. The serenity and slow pace will be off-putting for many gamers. Subsequently, its relaxed approach and the interpretive plot will make some players feel uneasy. I though loved the exploration and how every element blended to create a vivid environment that was alive. Moreover, the world fills you with an array of emotions thanks to each chapter's unique design. Whether you are lost in the snow, swimming underwater, strolling by the coast or creeping through a blood-red land, it's a fascinating experience. When a game wants you to immerse yourself in the action, you want the world to be beautiful. Sadly, Drizzle Path Deja Vu misses the mark as it needs a polish. From afar, the imagery is fantastic and the giant Greek statues, landmarks and trees look amazing. However, step closer and it appears dated and rough. Though this isn't a deal breaker, it ruins the immersive nature of the title. Furthermore, the movement of the animals and NPCs is a little wooden and I'd have liked to see it much smoother. Fortunately though, you traverse the land with ease and the first person perspective was a great choice. The blend of music, dramatic tunes and realistic sound effects complete this walking simulation. If you then account for the beautifully acted narration, you'll experience a free-flowing and touching story. You'll be transported to each area thanks to the crunching snow beneath your feet, the sound of rushing water or the wind howling. It was brilliant and made this a relaxing but must-play title. There is little to worry about within this minimalist walking simulator. You don't have to solve problems, there are no items to use or chasms to leap. No, your hardest decision is whether to walk or run. Yes, the scenery can block your path and this was a little annoying, but it was a minor thing. Thanks to the responsive controls, you can stroll or jog to your heart's content. 
Drizzle Path Deja Vu is let down by its replay value. The story is short, with only 11 chapters to experience. Once it's finished, there is little reason to return. Sadly, the achievement list won't draw you back either. The small list is progress related and you'll complete it in no time. Unfortunately, it lacks both replay value and longevity. However, it's still great value for money and worthy of your time. Tonguk Bodo creates some amazing games and Drizzle Path Deja Vu is up there with his best. I loved how the elements combined and the freedom you have to interpret the plot. The story is wonderfully emotive and players will lose themselves in its unusual world. It won't be for everyone, but I enjoyed the slow pace, great scenery and beautiful audio. It's worth your money and time and I recommend that you buy it. Take a journey across many landscapes while pondering your existence. Enjoy the weird imagery and reflective nature of this touching plot. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching and I hope you like what you've seen. If you have, give the video a like, comment below and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, keep gaming.